What's going on, boys and girls? Biker Dave here with my beloved Harley Bobber. Uh, I'll put a playlist link at the end of this video. There'll be a thumbnail, and you'll see also I'll put a, the actual hyperlink in the comment section of the video if you want to see more about this bike. Um, I don't ride it very often. You know, it's more of a collectible for me, so I don't get to take it out very much. And if you're in that same situation with any kind of vehicle that you don't use very often and uh, you've noticed, you know, it ran the last time you rode it or used it, then this next time you try to use it uh, and you know you got gas in the tank, you know, you know that the engine's not a million years old with a zillion hours on it and whatnot. It's just either not firing or if it's a twin cylinder vehicle like this, only one of the cylinders is working. All right, don't panic. The easiest thing to do really quick is first feel the cylinder with your hands. You know, if it's been running for a few minutes, but you can tell it's only running on one cylinder, feel the cylinder with your hands. If one of them is hot, you'll know that one's actually working. If the other one is cold feeling, it is not really temperature you know, equal to the other, you'll know that what's likely the problem is the spark plug or the wire itself, which, you know, if this bike used to run for you or your vehicle or your lawnmower or whatever, if it used to run fine and all of a sudden it just said, I'm not running today, sure, it's a possibility that the spark plug is bad or the coil is bad or that sort of thing. But it's also very possible and very easy to check See if the spark plug is actually igniting. All right, so the easiest thing to do, take it out of the cylinder, take the other spark plug out of the cylinder off of, if you have a two cylinder bike, plug it in to, to your spark plug wire. And what we're gonna do is quickly, we're gonna to touch it to the cylinder here. And then we're going to you know turn the key on and hit the start button and see if there's any spark coming from the electrode. Uh, you know, you may have to move it around a little bit to make sure it's touching, and you may want to put some gloves on because it'll shock the crap out of you if you're not careful. So put some gloves on, and um, we'll just fire it over and see if anything happens with, uh, with the spark plug itself. So let's check this out. Real easy to do. All right, now I've already checked this, and I have already discovered that one of the spark plugs has fouled and is not working properly. But for you guys, you know, you may panic and say, oh my God, what's happening? This thing used to run great. Now it's not cranking or it's only running on one cylinder or something. All right, so we got the spark plug plugged in. We're gonna touch it. You can touch it to something steel or metal, you know, just touch it to something and just be careful when you're doing this. And then you'll look right here if this spark plug is working properly and your ignition system is working properly, you should see a spark pop out of there every so often. All right, so let's watch this one and see what happens. Nothing. And, you know, that's the problem when it's a, with, if it's a bike or a car or anything that you just don't use all that often. It gets sooty, you know, it doesn't get up to temperature, even though you do crank it every so often. The spark plug gets a little sooty, just because it doesn't get driven and ridden up to temperature often enough. All right, so if you can quickly check, you know, take the spark plug that you know is working and swap it over to this one here. Uh, you can test that one real quick, and that'll tell you quickly if the spark plug itself has just flunked out on you. And make sure that you've got the spark plug really pushed in thoroughly into the boot. All right, now this is a brand new one, of course. But you can swap it with any good working spark plug that you know is working. And uh, here we go. Watch the electrode right at the end down there. as you see and it should be a nice strong spark now my battery is obviously getting low but what you should see is a nice bright spark going on in between there if it's a real weak spark 
that could mean you need to check your coil or check wiring, you know, check your spark plug wires themselves, that sort of thing. You, you may have to get a little deeper into it. But if you just want to know instantly that the spark plug flake out, that's the easiest way to do it. And then you can investigate beyond that if you know the spark plug is good. But I found out quickly my spark plug has crapped out. And it happens, you know, whatever. When you got uh, motorcycles, cars, or lawnmowers, or whatever, and you just don't use them all that much, it happens. The good thing is they're inexpensive. And the really good thing is uh, for Harley Davidson's, and you know, this is uh, an 07 Road King engine, and this spark plug, I'll put down below where you can get it online, DCPR7EIX, the Iridian spark plug that everyone loves and recommends for these Harleys. You can get this at AutoZone, you know, a car a car part store, because you know darn well if you go to the Harley shop, they're going to charge you double what everyone else would, and these are about eight dollars a piece at AutoZone, so that's awesome. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that real quick. Like I said, look for the playlist link that'll pop up. Got all kinds of videos about this bike, but also work on cars, motocross bikes, ATVs, scooters. Honda stuff, Yamaha stuff, classic cars and trucks and things, even newer vehicles also, as well as stuff around the house. So if you're looking for things to fix, you know, at home, or if you're having trouble with a vehicle, or if you just want something to watch every now and then, check out our channel and uh, make sure you subscribe and like and follow and all that stuff. And if our video helped you out, make sure you click the thanks button underneath the video. Same with any YouTube channel. If their video helps you, and they're a subscribed, you know, if they're a monetized channel, make sure you look for the thanks button underneath and, you know, throw them a, a little bone or two. Uh, it helps everyone. That's it. Biker Dave signing off. Getting this thing running. Y'all have a good day. We'll see y'all later.